Welcome to iGeek channel. Today we will be reviewing the Leap Power display monitor. It is a portable display monitor. So first of all, let's see what's what comes with the box. The obvious thing is the Leap Power monitor, and it also comes with a leather cover that you can use as a stand. Let me just show you here. Yep. It has a magnetic strip at the back that allows that stays intact with the monitor and then you can use it as a cover or as a stand. Second thing we have is the HDMI to HDMI mini cable which you can use to connect use to connect this monitor to your PC. Third we got the standard USB type C to USB type C cable which you can use it to connect to your phone then we have the power adapter which also comes with a type C cable uh, so, so this is this will come in useful when you are using the HDMI type C to connect the HDMI cable to connect to your PC but it won't work unless until you use the power adapter because it needs an external power source then Leap Power added some additional uh, accessories for us so here we have a screen guard and it also comes with some screen guard screen protector accessories now let's talk about the the display itself it, it's a metal all full metal body I think it's aluminium but I'm not sure uh, it has a quite silvery finish on the back and let's talk about the ports we got on this monitor so on the left as you can see we have the uh, HDMI mini the USB type C connector and the 3.5 mm audio jack we also have the left speaker on the right we have the we have the USB type C and another USB C port and we have the volume rocker um, it also acts as a brightness control in uh, in different contexts so say uh, if you are watching a movie or playing some songs so the display will detect the context and it will know that okay you are playing the you are playing a song or watching some watching audio uh, sorry watching a video and then it if you slide it up so I'll, I'll be able to show like this if you slide it up it will um, it will turn up the volume if you slide it down it will lower it also in other cases it will it will uh, decrease and increase the brightness of the screen then on the last we have the power button which you power button which you can hold to power the monitor power on the monitor now let's talk about now let's take an example of how example on how you can connect your phone to the Leapo monitor first of all all you need is to get the cable that came included with the box the type c cable and then go ahead and hook it up to your to your phone Uh, I have a Galaxy S8. Uh, so the cool thing about Samsung phones, uh, so the, I, the additional feature I get with the Samsung phone is I get two modes, which is Samsung DeX and the screen mirroring. Um, so with Samsung DeX, I can use my phone as a PC if it's connected to an external monitor. So I'm going to show you in both ways how you can do that. So first of all, we are going to uh, try it in the screen mirroring mode. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in this USB-C port on the right side. Okay, so whenever I connect uh, my phone to the right right uh, USB C monitor, I always get an er error saying you make sure your HDMI is connect connected properly. But never it's not but it works perfectly fine on the left USB Type C port. Uh, I don't know if it's just the Samsung thing or maybe it's just my phone. So now I'm gonna remove it from the right side and hook it on to the 
left USB-C port. Okay, now these are connected. As you can see, it picks it up instantly and there's no input lag. There's this, I would say there's zero lag, but this very, you, it's not, it's not noticeable at all, at all. Um, okay, so there are two differences in connecting your phone with the Samsung DeX as well as, uh, and the screen mirroring more. Right now, this is a screen mirroring more. So in screen mirroring more, you can use uh, the Lipo monitor as a speaker as well. So you can watch videos on your phone um, and you can use your monitor as a speaker. So let me go to YouTube. Let's play a video. Let's go for iKick phone. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So, so right now this is playing from the monitor and not my phone. Uh, yeah, here I'm covering my phone speaker, but you can still hear the audio. Um, on the right side, you can see there. Uh, okay, now it disconnected again. Um, so. You, it's connecting back um you can see there's a a rocker here which you can use let me carefully put it down we can use to increase the brightness as well as also use let me bring it back close yeah which you can use to increase the brightness as well as also increase the sound sometimes it's worse uh, and yeah it's um it switches to brightness or volume mode depending on the context but right now but some sometimes like it's a hit and a miss okay it's still doing the brightness um i'm going to sh uh for um uh, now let's switch to the dex mode i'm gonna go ahead and do that from my phone so here you can see my samsung dex mode which is allows me to use my uh, phone as a pc through an external monitor uh, the only thing i gotta do is to pick it up from the yeah so i can use my phone as a touchpad so you can see the mouse here uh, yeah as i was mentioning before uh this one disadvantage uh in while connecting your samsung in a dex mode is you cannot use your monitor as a, a speaker so as a, like power source so that's that's one thing uh one advantage i would say that uh the samsung dex mode has or the or the regular uh, screen very mode is that it looks much better in terms of contrast and vibrance uh, while co comparing to the screen mirroring mode so for personally for me i always use it in dex mode for people who don't have uh, who only who, who's uh, who only have screen mirroring option in their phone um, they can decide to uh, they can just use that um, also one more thing is if you don't have a usb c phone uh, you can use a, a type if you have a regular USB port, you can use a converter and then uh, still connect uh, to the Leap monitor using this cable. Just make sure you have like a USB A to USB C converter. Um, now let me show you uh, a game. In let's go ahead and turn on one of the games. Okay, so I started my Samrost here. Um, as you can see, it looks pretty good. Uh, right now it's having uh, some glare. Uh, it's only in the video from the 
lamp but uh, in reality it looks much better so all you gotta do is okay, I'm waiting it's yeah so this um, this is it for this section now okay um, one more thing I would like to talk about is how you can um, how you can actually change the display so um, my preference is uh, so what I have observed is uh, the phone looks much better uh, in dex mode compared to the regular, regular uh, screen bearing mode but that won't be an issue uh, since uh, you can change through change some options through the screen options through the uh, volume record slash brightness control uh, okay it's here uh, what you do is press it inside okay now you can see the you can see here the OCD so here you can uh, so if you want to select the menu uh, press it press the rocker inside again and then you'll be able to go inside the menu and if you press it again and you can select the particular option and then you can turn it up or turn it down personally i prefer um, i prefer a brightness level around okay so if you want to get the best experience uh, on this monitor uh, what i would suggest you is to have around a brightness of 40 and a contrast level around 40 and same for the black level like around 43 45 but in case you are in a um, um, really bright environment and you need that brightness uh, you can still go and uh, increase the brightness there are a couple of more options like uh, the echo mode so in here you can see there are rts for games rts movies text fps modes uh, if you want to go back to uh, the menu, you can use the uh, power button and then use the volume rocker up and down to go up or go down. Here you can manually set the colors on the screen. Here we have the language OCD time and transparency. And one major thing I would like to talk about is the SDR mode. So SDR mode is a hit animus. At times it looks like it has very huge contrast and sometimes it looks uh, it makes it looks really good so let me turn it on uh, from what i have noticed turning it automatic won't turn it turn it at actually on so what you have to do is go to hdr more then select to 2084 uh, so right now you can see a huge difference it has bumped up the brightness quite a lot uh, but I noticed quite a good difference in um, watching movies or videos. Uh, let me put it back off. Okay, it's off now. Now I'm going to show you guys how you can connect your Leapo monitor to your PC. For this, you need two things. First is the power adapter that's um that has a type c port you just need to plug it plug it in in your wall uh wall switch other thing you need other thing you need is the sdmi to sdmi mini cable i'm gonna go ahead and put that and i'll be right back all right, I am back and as you can see, I have connected the monitor through the USB mini cable and also plugged in the power adapter cable. Right off the bat, my PC picked up it as a second monitor. Um, my PC is a 2K monitor and the Leapo is a full HD monitor. So you might have to change some settings in personalized menu to, because sometimes it just get upscaled or downscaled. Okay, um, now I'm gonna go and switch to, uh, no, I'm gonna start and play Far Cry and Far Cry 4 and 
sorry for cry neuro and i'll be right back okay i'm back and as you can see i am playing my far cry 4 here yes there's little to just there's no lag whatsoever and it looks pretty nice um i haven't turned on the sdr yet uh let me turn it on and turn on in the game as well as on the monitor and i'll be right back let's see how it looks okay i have turned on the sdr mode in the game but i haven't turned it on on the monitor so it looks washed out so if you want to turn it on what you do is press the volume rocker on the inside okay, give me a second yeah here and if you go to the option all the way down here press the that key again for some reason it's not taking okay here you can turn it auto and then it will automatically pick it up if you have turned it on let me look down and i'll say it looks really good uh in my case almost as similar or maybe a little bit better compared to the regular mode um yeah so this is how you have a good experience on having um your pc with second monitor one thing i forgot to mention is that um a couple of um some games have different uh sdr modes so go ahead and try to play with those because i just um i also noticed there was one more um sdr mode in the options menu for far cry it's let's be in the graphics video advanced settings Oh, no. oh yeah here uh so right now this is on sgr 10 uh i personally prefer s sgr scrgb uh while using this or using any other sdr modes i would suggest keeping the using the auto option in the sdr menu from the monitor because that's going to give you the best results um i personally like this monitor uh, for gaming um because it's a 1080p uh, and it's also 60 fps um, um, and that's going to give you the best possible experience um, i have kept it at 60 fps and looks absolutely good so let me show you this mode as well this mode is a little bit brighter than the other mode as well as it looks much better uh, not too much vibrant or or like you know have better contrast um, also when you switch to auto mode it's going to change uh, or trick it automatically based on where you are um, and most yeah, so you can play any games on this um, while using it as a secondary monitor um, you can use this um, you can play on your main monitor and use your lipo monitor as a second screen for browsing or um, using discords which most of the gamers use um, yeah so this thing can be this thing is very versatile in terms of its applications now let's move on to the let's move on to sound um, I um, when you connect it to the PC, it uh, you will see. Let me head over to this monitor. You'll see an option that says you can select it as a. Uh, so it's come shows up as Z1, so it is going to give you an option as to select as a playback device. So if you game, so if I select this right now, have the music. Go, go back go back to the game you will be able to hear it as well 
um, there are two speakers left and right so dual built-in speakers but those are um, those are kind of okay um, the highs aren't that clear and sometimes the volume is too low uh, even if, or, or if you turn it up it's going to get distorted so I would recommend um, either so if you prefer um, or want you can switch over to your another uh, source of audio or you can use your use the speakers um, or if you don't want that it also comes with a 3.5 mm jack which you can use if you got headphones but still want to use your portable monitor uh, for example if you're playing on your phone the verdict um, I'm going to give this leap of um, solid 9 out of 10 um, there are a couple of departments where it, it could do better with sound or um, especially you know um, color correction or uh, you know, color quality um, but those things are overshadowed by the uh, positive and the advantages of this of the leap of portable monitor um, I can think of endless ways uh, in which someone can find this useful whether and it's very versatile so people who just wanna use it as a secondary monitor while traveling or uh, use it as a monitor for your PC if you want to work with Word um, you know just uh, or just watch movies um, connect to your phone there are endless applications where you can I think you can find this useful um, for a price point of one almost $140 um, this thing um, it really gives you best bang for the buck um, if you're interested in buying I will leave the link for, uh, Amazon link for this product in the video description so don't forget to check it out um, and if you have any questions um, don't forget to put it in the comment section I'll be happy to help and see you guys in the next one peace